Okay guys, so today I am at Westfield Siesta Key in Florida. I am in a mall that is a dead mall, but there's a lot of open businesses in here. It appears to be a lot of art stores and high-end stores. A lot of them appear to be by appointment only because they're just not open. There's only a few open businesses in the entire mall. Apparently this one they teach art classes. I don't know if this mall used to have more uh, like regular stores or if it was always high-end and art and things like that. If any of you have uh, been to this mall, maybe you can tell me that in the comments below. But I'm just going to take a walk through here, put some music on, and let you kind of enjoy everything that I'm seeing in here.
Here's a building out front that's also empty and for lease. I don't know what that was. A lot of times you see um, standalone jewelry stores outside the malls too, so that could have been that originally, I don't know. On the end here used to be an anchor in this mall, and I don't know what it was. I'm walking around looking for labels, um, but it looks like they are making the outside of this end into some kind of a strip mall here. Yeah, they're doing something to this end of it. I don't know. Some kind of remodeling over here. I don't know what this entrance was, but uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was either a JCPenney's or a Sears. If you know, let me know in the comments. This side of it is now LA Fitness. Here's the Macy's we saw inside. And here's another entrance to the mall here. I'm going to go look in here and see if we've been in this end. Because it was kind of a strange setup in there. And I think this whole end was blocked off. It was like one long haul going from Macy's down to that other end down there. Oh yeah, I was down here, that's right. Yeah, because there's the fountains down there, so we've already seen this end. Here's your Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So here's another place on the outside. It's called Rise Above Center for the Performing Arts. There's a label scar up there from whatever it used to be, which I don't know. And then down here is a movie theater that actually looks pretty awesome. It's called Cinebistro. And apparently it's like a kind of a dine-in movie theater as far as I understand. It's got posters up from all new movies. But from the inside at least it was closed. Yeah, there's some people trying to go in and the doors are locked. So I'm kind of lost what's happening with that because they've got this sign out here that says now open. This over here that says now open but it's closed. I'm sure that has to do with uh, nothing less than COVID, of course. Yeah, here's a whole menu up here, and wow. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here that you would not expect to see at a movie theater, and look at those prices, holy crap. <laughs> wow, that is a serious drink menu for a movie theater, guys. You can get bottles of wine in here. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Today they open at 2.30 p.m. Anyways, as we continue around here, here's some of the stores that are inside the mall, although most of them are not open. And it looks like this one is empty here. I'm not sure what this was unless it was the Ann Taylor. I don't recall seeing that inside. Let's look inside the door here a minute. Yeah, there's all kinds of construction and blueprints and stuff going on in there. So, that's definitely empty right now. And that brings us right back around to the entrance here with the giant storks delivering babies. <laughs> or whatever these things are. Okay guys, this is hilarious. I'm going to show you this here. Inside the mouth is a little tube. You see that? I assume water comes out of that when it's hooked up, but look what is peeking out. It's a little critter. It's like a little gecko. Oh, he just snuck in. <laughs> that is too hilarious. Oh my gosh, let's just wait and see if he climbs back out a minute. Come on, you little critter, come on. He went in as soon as he saw me, but that was hilarious. A little critter right there poking out of the stork's mouth or whatever that thing is. I know it's not a stork, but somebody tell me what that is. <laughs> I always get things wrong in these videos and everybody's like, no, it wasn't that. To be fair, we also are living in a time with COVID, so a lot of things are affected by that. So, I mean, you guys let me know, how did this mall fare before COVID hit? Here are a couple of restaurants, one here and one here, both which are closed. You can tell they used to have outside dining. And maybe those were affected by COVID, I don't know. But uh, you guys let me know. You know, maybe this mall was hopping before COVID hit, and maybe that's what really killed it. All right, guys, well, that's it. Just a look around uh, Westfield Siesta Key Mall here in Florida. Having fun doing these dead mall videos. So if you know of any more in the area, let me know, and I'll try to hit them up before I skip town.